Connor and I are in uh, Yosemite and we're about to go up Astro Man. This will be my third multi-pitch ever. We're off to a good start. Yeah. Can't find the trail to get to the base. Forget the big wall, we should just project this thing. This is sick. This is the warm-up slab. No. This actually looks heinous. Oh, wait. It's so hot. Oh, nope. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we're really off to a good start. Okay, we just got to the top of the Enduro crack. That's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> I am like absolutely bricked. That's uh, what, 11A? 11C. Oh, 11C. That makes me feel. It's Valley 11C. A bit better. Connor just cruised up it, like crack climbing and like jamming the whole thing. I couldn't do that. And was just like laid back being like the whole way and fell like three times. Another pitch, yeah. and now we're about to go up into the Harding slot. Yeah, so what I have to do is uh, I had to retie so that my knot's not right here because that would uh, be extra width, and I'm gonna have to take off my helmet because that wouldn't fit for the slot. And it's like to... how wide is it? Do you think? I don't. Pretty pretty narrow. I'm gonna have to pick a direction to face and then pick a direction to point my head because you, you can't you can't turn your head. Once you're in it, you yeah. can't move at all. Apparently, this is extreme. Yeah, it's sick. <laughs> Connor's up in the Harding slot. It's hard to see him, but he's literally just jammed right there in between two cracks that are like that wide. <laughs> Connor just said, I think I must be some sort of masochist because I'm actually enjoying this. Oh man, this is fun. Ale, Ross. Oh my god. Ross is now inside uh, Washington's column. <laughs> Every inch is like a V10. That's how I'm gonna measure. Big wall climbs now is just boulder V grades per inch. <laughs> neither of my feet are on and neither of my hands are on. So uh, you're gonna become one of the wide boys? Definitely not. This is terrible. <laughs> Second off with climbing now? No. I don't have any words to describe how weird and different and awkward this is. Look at that. I could do a one arm on that, but I can't pull my body up. <laughs> Through and no hand. Nice. Ah. Oh. Just a light workout. I was barely trying hard. And I took Mirko up this one. And his quote right here was like, every part of me is pumped except my forearms. <laughs> that was his. Yeah, it's true actually. You're just like chicken winging and pressing and like squeezing your butt so it like sticks in there and jams your whole body in there, it's it's ridiculous. Truly ridiculous. Pro tip, use the bathroom if they're wanting before going up on big walls in Yosemite. On the second to last pitch, this has got to be the coolest belay ledge position I've been on maybe ever. Boom! Sick job. Perfect oh, yeah. timing too. He's getting his valley legs back. I'm getting experience period on, in the valley. Let's do a quick comparison. How many times have you done half time? I want to say five. Five? Okay, Eight. I've done I've done that once, so it's like right. pretty even there. Pretty even. How many times have you done El Cap? El Cap, I want to say 10. Okay, so I've also done that once, so still pretty even. Oh wait, we're counting, if we're counting East Buttress <laughs> and West Face, then probably I'm closer to like 14 or 15. Oh, okay. So you're just a, a tiny bit ahead of me then. What about like Cathedral and all that stuff? I've done all that, yeah. Okay, I've walked to the base of that one, so that pretty yeah, much that counts. counts yeah. So we're still pretty even. Yeah, yeah. What about even. everything else in Tuolumne and Yosemite? Yeah, you know, I've done, I've done that too. Okay. Yeah, I think you you beat me just by a tiny bit. Just, just what about uh, freeing the nose? How many um, times have you? I've done that once. Yeah. You've only done that I've once. I've only done it once. So I've done it zero times. So that's, so that's like that's, that's the least difference of any yeah. any climb. 
you got the sixth, seventh, yeah, sixth, sixth, oh. sixth ascent yeah. of El Capitan nose free and placing gear the whole way, which is insane. Day two, we decided we're just gonna do a quick lap up the, the free blast, which is just the first 10 pitches of free rider on El Cap. Connie, you wanna run through our sequence really quick? See, like right there, you see the beta, you go like right hand here. Yeah. It's hot. It's always important to preview your routes. Exactly. Same as competitions, we give ourselves six minutes to just run through a really quick Perfect. sequence, and then we'll have it all memorized so when we're up there, we know where we're going. There's a portal ledge on pitch one of the nose. If you're having to set up a portal ledge on pitch one of the nose, I think you gotta be rethinking your climbing strategy. Actually, I can't touch. Yesterday, I felt like a V0 climber again. Just like beach whirling, like scrambling, like foot slipping everywhere, just trying way too hard to hold on to it, like jug cracks and stuff. It humbles you for sure. Connor, what's your go-to big wall warm-up? Um, the first pitch. The <laughs> first pitch. Only 3,000 more feet to go. Once he's at the top of the pitch, which is up there somewhere. I'll pull the rope and then I'll just follow up with the pack. I'm going to leave this one here because we're going to end up wrapping down the, the fixed lines all the way back to the start. Yeah, pretty simple stuff. Actually, simple when you have a professional lead climber and big wall climber like Connor that knows how to do everything. How are you feeling? My calves are so pumped. Boom. Completed. We did all the, the 511 pitches are done. You guys saw the, the first one, which was 11C, and then that one that I just led was 11B. Oh, 11A, sorry. But it was bolted too, so I placed two pieces of gear at the end, but yeah, super psyched. The climbs actually feel super comfy because you're just standing on these like tiny, tiny crystals and like smear feet, like literally just like you're standing on something like that that doesn't look like a hole at all, but it's actually felt pretty applicable to some of like the no hand comfy slabs that we've done at World Cups and everything. So it's good training, you know? We're not just out here fooling about. We have a couple more pitches. Gotta get some cashews first. Oh, yeah. And then we're done, so. That's the great roof right there. We're getting closer, but we're not gonna stop by it this trip. You'd think after uh, climbing in the valley my entire life I'd know to break the chopstick, but uh, I don't. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe One in day. a few years I'll start to remember. Yeah, once you're accomplished and have done a couple hard climbs, you'll, you'll probably start to remember. Maybe at some point. <laughs> Manage the last pitch. His dad's a Yosemite Valley legend and has done everything in here, so he's yeah. telling us he's telling us what pitches to do next because we still have some daylight left. And then my mom's telling us not to do those pitches. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were gonna do changing corners today instead, which is up there, but because it's in direct sunlight, I don't know what I was just feeling that vertical for no reason at all. But because it's gonna be in direct sunlight, it'd be pretty heinous. So we're gonna save it for another day. He's already done it, but he wants some more practice. It's like doable in the shade. Yeah. And then in the sun, it's just pure glass. Really? So we're just rappelling down these lines, which are fixed. So they just, they're always here. And then all the way down to the ground. Definitely so psyched to come back and project some harder, harder pitches and do some more free climbing in the valley. It's just the exposure and everything is addictive for sure. You look so professional with that coiled in your back like that. Makes 
more sense to bring what? So, on a big wall, it makes more sense to bring pistachios without the shell. Even though it's really fun to shell them. There's, uh, yeah, there's limited space up here. You can't, you don't have room for exactly. shells. There's no room for shells. You have that could be your project. That could be That's not your dawn wall right there is gone because you brought pistachios that had shells on them. Exactly. I bet Kevin Jorgensen and Tommy Codwell didn't bring pistachios with shells. Well, they also had people like jugging up lines to resupply their stuff. Yeah, so they could have brought shells. All right. That's it. Peace.